this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley and welcome to this video. This is the card we're making today. It's this cute dinosaur card. So let's get started. Supplies you're going to need are a scrap piece of Whisper White. Um, your card base is Pool Party and this is a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And then a piece of Whisper White that measures 10 centimeters by 14.35 centimeters. So let's get started with some stamping. Okay, so the stamp set we're going to be using today is called Dina Days or Dino Days, and this is so cute. Um, stamp set, and it has matching dies and has some absolutely gorgeous matching designer series paper that goes with it as well. So, we're going to be using quite a few stamps from that. So, let's get started. We'll start off with this big one with this big dinosaur. I don't know what the names are for these dinosaurs. I'm sure one of you can tell me. But I'm going to stamp this one up in yellow and I've actually mimicked the colours that are in the designer series papers. That's how I've chosen which colours to stamp in. So they're not true colours of how they would have looked. They're more an artistic impression. So give it a good push down. Now it might look a bit weird but actually it's going to um it will actually smooth out the ink so i'm actually going to stamp this twice so excuse my head goes on the camera you can do this with photopolymer if you just get right over it you can see where you stamped and you can stamp again like that okay just to darken him up a little bit okay so let's I think that's all the yellow I had it is so I'm going to need this block again so I'm just going to clean up our little stampy a little dinosaur so with our stamp and chamois and I don't think I mentioned the colour I used for that was Mango Melody okay so I've got our stamp and chamois away invaluable tool and take off our dinosaur and then I think we're going to stamp whoops we're going to stamp in full party we're going to stamp our other little dinosaur here okay so let's get him all nicely inked up like that and I'm going to stamp him right next door here but they're going to cut all of these out with the matching dice don't worry about them being in any order or anything like that lovely okay so let's put him aside uh, <clears throat> I'll leave that open because I need it again and then what am I going to stamp next so I'm going to stamp this little flying one and I'll put him on this block here. I'm going to stamp him in green. Okay. Well, old olive actually. When I say green. Okay. And let's just stamp him here. Be perfect. Lovely. Okay. So put that. Uh, I'm all a dither. <laughs> Leave my stamp and chamois. Clean him up. Make him nice and cleany. He don't want a dirty. He doesn't want to be a dirty boy. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's put that aside. Now I do know I'm going to be wanting to stamp our leaves in the green. So let me find where I've put my leaves. Here they are. And while I've got the green open, let's stamp three of these. So, one, two, well, that one didn't stamp so well, so I'm going to stamp an extra one for it. We can put it in here 
there we go so let me clean this up as you can see I've got ink everywhere as I normally do I'm not a delicate person with finesse <laughs> unfortunately so that's our green sorted so we can close that up before we make a further mess and then what else do we need we need to stamp our tree so let's bring our tree stamp and of course what other colour is there to stamp a tree a tree trunk but in melon mambo <laughs> I told you this is real fantasy um, dinosaurs but it is matching as I said the colours that you'll find in the designer series paper and the one piece of paper in the design issue, the one pattern, you can actually cut out the images using the same dies that you used to stamp with. So that's really useful. Okay, I had two. Melon Mambo tree trunks. <coughs> uh, I need that again. Let me clean up. I think it's useful with this kind of ink to clean up with this much ink about clean up as you go along before you have an accident and you put your project in something inky as you can see I'm covered in ink but anyway now I've got these these are his scales for this little one here so I'm going to stamp him in melon mambo Okay, that's fine. So I can close that up. I'm done with the melon mambo. I need my tree trunk one more time in pool party. And because I've stamped in pink, and there's really good photopolymer stamps will stain. It's the nature of photopolymer stamps. So don't feel as if there's something wrong with it because it's stained. It's just the nature of a good stamp. There we go okay let me stamp that again i don't think that maybe the stamp was totally clean there because it's not stamped a true pool party color so make sure i give it a good clean okay and we'll start try again so i was saying stamping in crafting there's no right or wrong there's just another chance to be creative yeah that's better that's more like his colour there and as you can see here how the ink is smoothed out so that's great okay so let's just clear up a bit okay so that's everything stamped out as you can see now we're going to cut it out with these dies which are called the Dino dies and as you can see there's a die for everything nearly so we'll be using this one for him and that one for the tree trunks and that one cut out are flying there's even one here to cut out the leaves another one for him and there's even the small one here which will cut out um, his scales and then you've also got ones here that will cut out an egg and this is for the other dinosaur we didn't use so you know for his scale so you've got a lot of variety here as well okay <clears throat> so I'm just gonna cut this all out through the big shot and I'll be back I don't think I put this put my video onto record which is very stupid of me so let me just explain what I did I cut out the shapes obviously using the dies and then the trees I stuck down with snail and then these dinosaurs have stuck down with um, dimensionals. I stamped here in Old Olive, you'll roll some. And then I used these really cute here enamel shapes. And I used these little pink teeth here and here to make the card. And then I stuck his scales just behind him there. So I'm sorry if it got lost somewhere. But those are the two cards. Thank you for watching. If you want any information about the measurements, etc., it'll be on the blog post that goes with this video. And the links to my website and my social media links, including my new Facebook group, will be in the description box below. So until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.